I think that if you look at most of the rugby in the Northern Hemisphere at the moment, it isn't the most dynamic in the world. I think that the Super 14, but now 15 competition as it is now, um, is far more fluid and suits his style of the game. Um, I also feel that on a personal level, he'll probably he needs to get away and just try and enjoy his rugby again. Yeah, you know, he's had a, a couple of very bad injuries, and um, you know, regardless of what you think of Danny, yeah, you know, he is he has got phenomenal talent, and I think that it would be sad to to lose him from the game. And I think that you know, both in terms of the style of the play and the Premiership at the moment, but also you know, in terms of some of the the issues that um, that have become or, or alleged to be around him, um, somewhat fictitious, some of them. But I think that he needs to get away and just try and enjoy his rugby and get back to where he was a couple of years ago. So, though I think it's very sad for English rugby that we're losing a guy as talented as that, I do think for him personally, it perhaps ignite, you know, what brought him into the game and made him such a star, you know, a couple of years ago when he was playing some fantastic football.